Time and time and time again has this question resurfaced on the Bungie forums. Usually it's by a kindergarten just getting into PvP and they type something like this, Oh hey guys, um, should I snipe or should I use a shotgun? And every time I go on the forums and I answer, That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you can use both a shotgun and a sniper. I mean, seriously, why the hell would you use a primary weapon? What do you think this is, Call of Duty? No, this is Destiny. So, without further ado, let's look at the build. For the grenade, we have the Suppressor, also known as the best fucking grenade in the whole game. I hear a storm a coming. It's coming around the- oh, there it is, shit. Fuck, Suppressor out. Ha! Ah, get fucked. So, if you didn't figure it out by now, the grenade suppresses, as the name implies, any guardian abilities. So if you throw it at the enemy, they won't get to use their melee ability, their grenade ability, or even their super. In fact, if they're in their super, it'll just kick them out of it. At the beginning of a match, a suppressor can be used as an offensive tool. You just throw it at them and then they can't do any of that evasive jumping stuff. After about two minutes into the match though, you might want to hold on to that suppressor just in case an enemy has an early super. But, in a pinch, if you absolutely positively have to have your suppressor grenade right here right now, then drop your bubble. What that'll do is it'll refresh both your grenade and melee ability and let you lure an unsuspecting sunbreaker into your bubble, which will be suppressed, and then you end that man's career. It does take a little bit of practice to anticipate supers, but once you get it down, you'll really start to impress your friends. These grenades can make people quit. Like take this Sunbreaker for instance. He's like, oh, 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 I'm gonna go throw some hammers at people. And then I throw a suppressor and then he's like, fuck it, I'm out of here. In addition to having the best grenade, Defender Titans also have the best jump ability. Basically, if you spam the jump button about six times, what you'll be doing is called Titan Skating and that lets you close the gap really, really quickly. For example, so I look at the clock, I see that it's close to 7 minutes so special ammo must be spawning. So I move closer to the special ammo, get my snipe kill, secure the special ammo, and then I head back to my bubble. Once I see red on the radar, I start titan skating towards them to close the distance and easy shotgun melee. So what kind of sniper should you use? The answer is high impact, because you'll be running weapons of light on your bubble. So what Weapons of Light does is it boosts your damage by 25%, and if you run Illuminated, which is that bottom right perk on the skill tree, it'll boost it by 35%. But even without Illuminated, Weapons of Light sniping with an LDR, a thousand yard stare, a longbow, an icebreaker, and so on, all of those will one shot to the body. What? Did I stutter? No. Weapons of Light plus high impact snipe equals body shots for days. But since we're on the subject of bubbles, let's talk about Titan bubble etiquette. So what you don't want to do is throw your bubble down and just sit in it. No, what you want to do is pass through it, get your weapon to light buff, and then go hunt some people. What this accomplishes is every single kill you get outside of your bubble, it adds some super energy to your meter, therefore allowing you to throw another bubble sooner. In the time it takes for my bubble to extinguish, I basically have three quarters of another bubble ready. So it's only maybe one or two kills away from having another bubble and repeating the process. Now don't forget, you use weapons of light, snipe people in the knee, you get your suppressor and melee ability back when you throw your bubble, you can dance to rub it in his face, and then maybe even clean up some more kills. Having a weapons of light bubble up is basically like having golden gun up at all times. Except for the tiny little detail that you can't jump and shoot someone with the sniper accurately. I played with the same rumble lobby, and after a while they started wising up. They realized that when my bubble was popped, perhaps maybe I should hide. But if you ever hop into rumble, remember, there is no such thing as hiding from the cami cakes. The Defender Titan melee ability is called Force Barrier, and I use Unbreakable on this node because it recharges the overshield. Unlike the Warlock, you actually have to get a melee kill to activate it. The next perk on the tree is called Relentless, and this goes hand in hand with Unbreakable. What Relentless does is it changes the overshield from 75 extra points of damage to 95 points of damage, and it makes it last even longer. So if you have tier 5 strength, which is a 25 second melee cooldown, what'll happen is that your Relentless Force Barrier will last longer than the entire cooldown takes the charge. Remember that most Guardians have around 200 health and that Relentless Forest Barrier adds about 95 to that, so it's like having one and a half health. 
So if you survive every engagement with more than half health, your force barrier will recharge to full. But let's hypothetically say they do hurt you for more than 95 damage. Then what you do is you throw your bubble up and your melee ability refreshes instantly, then you use your newly equipped weapons light shotgun to go get another force barrier. Here's where the no backup plans come in handy. No backup plans activate force barrier on a shotgun kill on top of adding shotgun reload and melee speed, both which help to activate force barrier. So once you get this relentless force barrier weapons light train started, it ain't stopping. Even if there's a golden gun, hello suppressor, that's right. You keep getting kills, you keep charging that bubble, and so on. That is the beauty of this loadout. You are a tank, you're unstoppable. Now I sound like a motivational speaker, but that's not the point. It disguise theme gets me so hype. Anyway, force barrier up. Even if I get damaged, it's still gonna recharge, because that's how it works. So the last perk on the tree is untouchable. It reduces your tier five intellect cooldown from four minutes to three minutes and 30 seconds. So it's a 30 second difference. That means even if you wanna be a useless bush wookie in the back of the map sniping, you'll still get your super in a whopping three minutes and 30 seconds, or you can go for illuminated. So what Illuminated does is it increases the 25% boost of damage from Weapons of Light to 35%. It only makes a difference on a select few weapons, like the Mita Multi-Tool for instance. Now an argument could be made for the middle tree, which is Iron Harvest. All heavy kills have a chance to generate an orb, and in year 1 I used the hell out of this. In year 2 though, heavy isn't as abundant, so that perk really isn't as important for me. I would rather have that 30 second difference on my cooldown and still one shot people to the body. So now let's talk about the armor. You want to split your intellect and strength to 5 and 5. You can even get 1 or 2 on the discipline if you're dedicated enough to grind for max stat roll gear. My boots have increased sniper ammo and the second wind perk which in addition to having increased reload speed lets you move a lot faster on respawn for about 15 seconds. I like it. You can also opt for void double down or whatever element your sniper is in the form of double down. My chest piece has increased sniper ammo and increased void armor. So if you run high armor on all classes it lets you survive some trivial things like say trip mines possibly burning out to a firebolt and just a couple other very specific things. It's really up to you if you prefer armor. The no backup plans are the no backup plans, and my helmet has a perk that gives me extra super energy on a grenade kill, and then another perk that restores my health whenever I pick up an orb of light, which on control or clash, there should be a lot of those. So let's talk weapons. My primary choice is no other than Universal Remote. I run the best range ballistics, crowd control, hammer forged, and the Universal Remote perk. I know some of those aren't optional, but I have to say it. Crowd Control adds 15% damage to every successive kill within 3 seconds. It'll make sense if you replay that again. Hammer Forge adds range and accuracy, something pretty important on shotguns. And the Universal Remote perk adds extra precision damage and range when aiming down the sights. Now it takes about half a second to a second for this perk to activate sometimes, so be cautious with that. Now an argument can be made for Snapshot for the ultra aggressive Universal Remote player, but I say just stick to Hammer Forge. It'll get the job done. As for the special weapons, you have a lot of options. The first gun I'm going to talk about is the Ephrodite Spear. Now I have Double Down on this gun. It's a year one, generation one gun that I reroll at the gunsmith to get specifically Double Down, Field Scout, and my lovely Taxis scope. With Field Scout and Double Down, you spawn in the match with 21 bullets. Then you hit the pause menu and switch to Snapshot. It's that simple. The next gun I want to talk about is Her Benevolence. You can still obtain this from Vanilla Prison of Elders. I have Replenish, Clown Cartridge, Snapshot, and my lovely Taxis scope. The other alternative to Her Benevolence is Shadow of Ales, which you can also obtain from Vanilla Prison of Elders. Having the Replenish perk on a sniper rifle is huge, because it's guaranteed ammo for getting your bubble, and you saw how quickly I could charge that bubble in that other rumble game. So with Replenish, even if you have 99 problems, ammo better not be one of them. If you're feeling particularly like a jerk, then pick up the Goes and See. You can get this by restarting a character and going through the main story until you get it. It's one of the earlier missions. What makes this gun special is it's a high impact sniper with crowd control, which lets you one shot to the body after a kill for three seconds. What? Yeah, now you know my secret. The Goes and See, the C on the Goes and stands for Cami Cakes. Not really. 
So let's say that you don't have any of those fantastic weapons, then what you want to do is pick yourself up any old high impact sniper. An LDR, a longbow, will work. Let's just hope you get lucky enough, because Shax is being a jerk about that lately. He just won't give me a longbow. Hi, I'm Cammy Cakes, and today I'm going to talk about an important problem. Every time Shax doesn't give a guardian a longbow, guardians get bored and they go out into the Cosmodrome and hunt bunnies. Shax, look at this thing. Just give me a longbow and we won't feel the need to go out and hunt bunnies. Well, that's about all she wrote. I'm getting kind of tired of talking, you're probably getting tired of hearing me, so what I'm going to leave you with is some rumble gameplay. While this may not have been the most impressive rumble gameplay, I certainly had fun with it. I was a little more ballsy than usual, didn't play it like the typical cookie cutter rumble match. You'll probably enjoy it too, so without further ado, you're not probably going to hear from me again. Actually, psych, scratch that, no. Next time your friends say, wow, that's a pretty cool loadout that you're using, just refer them over to this video and maybe even tell them to drop a sub to this guy. All right, well, I'm Cammy, and I'm out. See you later, guys. Leave none standing.
Why, Bungie? Why would you do this to me? I mean, I'm pretty sure that we should have traded. Ooh, special ammo. I should probably get me some of that. Maybe I'll get clown cartridge, and it'll all be just good and dandy. You're falling behind. What the hell do you mean I'm falling behind? And that's a golden gun. Now, nobody shoot me while I kill this guy, okay? Hey, dude, I I thought it was being clear here that... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, Cammy, don't let yourself get on tilt. The comeback starts now. Victory screen!